it takes an engaged child to be a critical thinker. Um, and it takes an engaged child at home to be an engaged child at school to be a critical thinker. So what is it that you're saying that I as a parent can do to support the teachers um, and, and, and promote that critical thinking with the, within my child at home? I think teachers say that the, they're, you, you talk to teachers in schools and they, they say either their parents um, are never show up, right, and yeah. are not involved at all, and they're just, they can't get parents into school. Or you talk to the teachers who say, I can't get the parents out of the damn school. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't the other. get them yeah. out the door, just let me do my job. Um, so, you know, we'd obviously at least one thing is that we'd like to have a half medium in between. But, I mean, my focus is on school reform, but of course, uh, a lot has to do with what goes on at home. Sure. And, um, and I think that there is actually a lot of research on what you're asking and, you know, dinner table discussions about current events, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, talking about watching the news, parent, you know, even parents. Interestingly enough, it's not um, as important for the child to watch the news or read the newspaper as it is to, for the See child to know that the parents watch the news and read the newspaper and that then the, the children become interested on their own on their own level um, and of course do you know for parents the same thing we could say right all you know parents like their want their kids to be critical thinkers but not on their on their watch right, right. <laughs> and, and uh and so i think that parents can do a lot of the same things at home that we're asking um, teachers to do in schools in terms of supporting teachers, uh, that's where I think it can be really key because there have been key uh, school board members, principals, parents, um, and, and all kinds of people in the community who have um, stood by teachers who attempt to bring critical thinking into the curriculum and are sometimes attacked for it. Um, there's some really interesting cases here in Nova Scotia, I'm sure we'll get to it, I mean, about reciting, um, you know, singing O Canada every day, right? There was the New Brunswick example with the principal who, um, who was chastised for that, for, for you know, taking it away. Um, and Nova Scotia has some really amazing examples where um, I think it, a couple of years ago, I mean, all of you know more than this, a couple of years ago there were two students, there was a student who was bullied for, um, for being gay or I'm, I'm not sure, uh, wearing a pink shirt, right? Mm. And then, and so these two other students decided to uh, buy pink shirts and hand them out to their class, classmates. Um, and so it, they could easily have been one of my stories, right, where the, those two students were suspended for God knows what reason, like the pink shirts were going to inflate, but they weren't, right? Instead, uh, in fact, the government made this a national, I mean, a provincial day where every year uh, the, the students actually have an anti-bullying day um, as great. So that lesson, it's not just for those students who participated, but for all the parents and the students in the community who really had a part in that. It's a lesson that you know, you do the right thing and it can sometimes result in, in strong policies. So okay. I think parents can support those efforts.